Okay, in this section we're going to go over some linear programming problems. Uh, linear programming is fancy terminology for having a bunch of constraints, finding all the points that satisfy all those constraints, uh, usually in the context some sort of word problem. This first one is not really going to have a context. And then deciding which of those constraints or finding uh, maximizes or minimizes your objective function. So the objective function is like your main objective, like you're trying to do something like minimize cost or maximize profit. All right, so our first step in linear programming is to either identify or write the objective function. So sometimes it's given to you, sometimes you have to come up with it, but all these types of problems will have some sort of thing you're trying to do, like trying to maximize profits, so you want to find the ordered pair that gives you the highest number for the profit, and profit would be the objective function. Or maybe it's cost, you're trying to minimize cost, or maximize the number of vitamins in a certain meal. All right. So once you know what you're trying to do, once you have your objective function, then you want to uh, graph the constraints, All right. and those are going to be inequalities. So the constraints represent all the things you have to stay true to. So if you look down here, like these are our constraints. We've got to make sure all these things are true. And again, usually these inequalities have context um, for this first one. It's not going to have any context. All right, then you want to find um, the vertices. So the vertices are when you graph your inequalities. The vertices are where all of your um, inequalities meet and those are going to be where your maximum or minimum points are for your objective function. Okay, and the last step is going to be take the vertices, plug them into the objective function, and then find the optimal solution. So optimal means the maximum or minimum based on whatever you're trying to do. All right, <clears throat> so let's do two problems together. Uh, the first one will be without context, and the second one will be yeah, more of a word problem. So determine, example one, determine the maximum, or sorry, determine the values of x and y that will maximize the objective function. All right, so you're trying to find the value of x and y that make p the largest. But it can't just be any number, right, or else you just pick like infinity and, and infinity. Um, they have to satisfy all these constraints, all right? So step one is that we have to graph these inequalities. And to kind of make this video more efficient, I'm just going to pause that and do that right now. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've graphed these four inequalities. So in green, uh, we have x plus 2y is less than or equal to 8. Put that in point slope form and um, shaded by checking the point zero, 0, All right, so you can see that in green. And then in that orange, like kind of uh, peachy color right here, I graph 3x plus 2x, uh, 3x plus 2y is less than or equal to 12. All right, put that in point slope form and shaded by testing a point. All right, and then if x and y are both greater than or equal to 0, that just means we're graphing in quadrant 1. So we have our three points, 1, 2, and 3. All right, those are the four vertices of, or three of the four vertices of this region that's shaded um, four times. To find this fourth point, we have to solve the system of equations, right? So if we did uh, 3x plus 2y is, oops, is, uh, three, sorry, 3x plus 2y is equal to 12, and x plus 2y is equal to 8, and we solve that system, we have the point 2 comma 3, all right? So that's, that's step three, all right? Step one, find the objective function, boom, that's given to us right here. Step two, graph the inequalities. All right, we did that. And then step three, find the vertices. Step four is um, find which vertices maximize the objective function. Okay, so here you could see uh, the four points, four vertices uh, were plugged into the objective function. 0, 0, 0, 4, 4, 0, and 2, 3. Okay, and we see that the point 2, comma 3 gives us the highest value for p, so since we we're trying to maximize p, um, our final answer is going to be, well, p, the optimal solution for p is 130, that's the biggest it could be, and that occurs when x is 2 and y is 3. 
right? And again, these points satisfy all the inequalities, and it also makes P the largest it could be.